Hola, Animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of some techniques we use to build this awesome animation. Our show is supported by our sponsors, uh, CodePin at CodePin.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers. We've got some links available below for you. Yeah, and here you can watch the full process of creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique, so please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or ask us in the chat, and we'll be happy to answer. That's right. All right, so now let's talk about the 3D flip part of this flipping animation. And I'm not talking about the layout change. I'm talking about the actual uh, like rotation on the Z-axis and the Y-axis and all this other crazy stuff that provides that illusion that we were aiming for. So um, there's four things we have to consider here. We have to consider the normal quote unquote resting state of each of these buttons. And so um, in that case, we have a button that's facing you and unbeknownst to you, we also have a content that is flipped and underneath that button. And so that is located, where is that? We have that, oh, right over here. We have rotate Y 0.5 turn. So what that's going to do is we have it translate Z negative one pixel just so that we make sure that it's a little bit separate from that top level button and also that it's flipped on the Y axis. We can also flip it on the X axis. doesn't really matter. Basically, we want to get it behind and rotate it around. Otherwise, it's going to be backwards. We don't want that. This is what the content is going to be for the entire animation. So we're not animating content at all. Now, when we have data flipping, this is when it's, um, I guess you could say data active and data flipping at the same time. So we could be a little bit more explicit over here. So basically when it's going from not active to active, we want, um, we want no rotation to happen. And then when it finally is no longer flipping, we want to rotate Y by half a turn and rotate Z by one turn, and that's what gives it that 3D animation over there. Now, when we're going backwards, we also have to take that into account too. So when we're going backwards, um, and that's, uh, that's... Yeah, so this is the final the final. Yeah, that's, thing. A, that's the final one. And then we have the this not the that same. active. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this one, um, we still want to have it initially at rotate Y 0.5 turn because we still want it flipped the other way. And we want rotate Z one turn because that's what's going to give it that cool 3D flip, uh, flip effect. And then we go back to, um, let's see, back to normal, which is rotation none. So... That's why there's there's really um, four states to consider here. Uh, there's the not active and not flipping. There's the active and flipping. There's the not active and flipping, and there's the active and not flipping. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. the the important The important bit is is for this kind of reveal technique to just get the content set up in the proper way, so that you're not having to worry about that and then using that inner wrapper to actually do all the rotation and everything like that. Uh, and that, that translate Z really, really helps. Uh, if you, if you don't have that, you get like that weird, like splicing kind of effect that you sometimes see in, in video games when things overlap. Um, yeah. so it's you, important. You, you can imagine it like a sheet of paper and for the nav, which is that button, we're translating Z translate Z in one pixel above. And for the content, we're translate z ing it. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, we're moving it one pixel below. So you have a guarantee that they're not going to touch. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for 3D transforms, it's important to use that transform style preserve 3D uh, and a perspective um, on kind of the container um, so, that, so that those uh, 3D transforms actually, actually come through. Uh, so make sure you add those and you should be good to go. So 3D transforms in, in uh, CSS it even works with flipping. Uh, so you can, you can combine all these techniques and, uh, and get some really fun retro effects. Mm -hmm. 
or modern effects, whatever. <laughs> uh, so anyway, if you want to dive in more, we have the full live video where we where we uh, go into all these techniques, and we have other uh, flip uh, videos available and plenty more on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash keyframers. So check all that out, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks so much for watching. <laughs>